Hey guys, it's Joe here for Cookie Junkie, bringing you the setup video for Guns Plus. This is a really easy plugin to set up, however if you want more than a pistol and a sniper, you're going to want to follow this video through and see how you can use the gun packs. So, if we go into the plugins folder, you're going to make sure you've got these three plugins, API Plus, Guns Plus and Spout Plugin. You'll also need the client Spoutcraft, otherwise you'll only see Flynn and the guns won't work. Once you've got these three in your plugins folder, start your server and then a few new folders will appear as you might imagine. So if we go back in here, four new folders appear. You're only interested in Guns Plus, leave these ones alone, you don't need to edit them. Go into here and you'll notice we've got all these, all these files you could edit. Now, if you want to edit it and do your own guns, fine, you can do that, whatever. I'm not going through that today. I'm just going to go through how to use the gun packs, which is a lot easier and better than editing it yourself. Well, I, I think it is anyway. So if I just quickly stop this server. And go onto the Duke Bucket Loadout, which is basically just a page for all the different gun packs. So, yeah, they're all... People obviously make different ones. Now, if I was you, I would stick to Atlamon's gun pack, as that is the uh, that's the plugin developer's gun pack that he does himself, and it's very good. It works. I ain't really tried properly any of the other ones. I've tried them for a bit, but not enough to get to know them. This one I've tried a lot, and it works well, and it's a really well-rounded pack. As you get, this is not. Why does it take you to the end? It should take you to the beginning. On. There we go. As it has a sniper in it, a heavy gun, a pistol, a light gun, a bazooka, a pump gun, which is just a shotgun, and a flamethrower. Oh, and a telescope, which isn't really a weapon, it's just for zooming. All of these can be crafted legitly and crafted well. Some of the other uh, gun packs are like, the, you can't craft the stuff in them yet. I think the people are going to add that later, but yeah, if you want to craft it, then get this pack. So once you've uh, downloaded this by the uh, download link here, you'll get a you'll get a zip file. All you want to do is extract that to wherever, just on your desktop or wherever, and you'll notice you get the same files here as what you do in the in the Guns Plus uh, plugins folder. All you literally want to do is just drag and drop it across. So just chuck. Just chuck it all in there. Copy will move and replace. Do this for next three con uh, conflicts. And boom, there we go. That is now all set up with Atlamon's gun pack. So I'll have all the uh, different guns on there. And it'll work fine. And to be honest with you guys, that is it. It's it's really not that hard to set up. And yeah, it's you want to experiment with uh, the other gun packs. I think they'll probably, they may be better. But at the minute, I don't think they are. I think like, they're getting there, but, you know. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There'll be links on the screen to the other Guns Plus videos. And, yeah, please comment below what you think. Like, subscribe. You're probably sick of hearing it because every YouTuber goes, eh, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. But, yeah, if, you, if you're feeling kind, then please do. And, yeah, I hope this video's helped. I'll see you later.